so hello everyone welcome to lorenzo data solutions my name is anipe abraham sap success factors consultant corporate trainer so before i continue to say anything in this uh, short video i want to say one thing that this is my opinion or my view and remember i don't represent anyone so today i want to concentrate in this episode about the latest release for h1 2022 for sap success factors employee central so i have already posted some of the major updates enhancements a uh, few days back on my website so i just want to give you a brief explanation about the latest release the major enhancements which i posted on my personal website so the first of all let us try to understand about the 2022 release schedule for first half yearly the peer review release on 15th april 2022 the production release on may 20th 2022 so here if you look at some of the uh, you know areas i have posted and in this uh, blog i have even included some of the enhancements from the success factors platform also so all together i just po for posted few of them that every consultant must be aware about it and you should be updated when you are working in your production or in your support or wherever you are the first uh, the major update is all about the alerts on the latest home page so as you all know that from h1 2022 the next generation the latest home page is going to be enforced and every customer they have to switch on to the latest home page if in case they don't switch on to that sap is going to force the enhancement from the back end so on the latest home page that users can learn all the upcoming events that are generated using employee central alerts including employee central including mdf alerts and you can see all that on the latest home page from the to do section so they will remind you uh, all the approaching events maybe let us say expiration of the documents or maybe something about data changes so using this cards on the to do section the users can uh, dismiss temporarily by maybe by choosing uh, remind me tomorrow or permanently by choosing done so so now the on the latest home page the users can experience at one glance alerts that relates to the employee central including mdf alerts from the to do section directly from the h1 2022 and this is the sample screenshot i have posted on my website until the production or a preview takes place and you can refer to it and which we cannot disclose the system configurations in the video as for the you know privacy and disclaimer so i have to explain as for the presentation and you want to know about the the production release 20th may 2022 and it is uh, configuration is universal and uh, it is about the latest home page alerts functionality which supports the module employee central including platform okay right now let us try to understand about the next major update automatic upgrade to the latest home page expiration 
sorry page uh, latest home page uh, experience as you all know that uh, previous blogs that i have posted and i have clearly explained the last year for the first time sap has introduced the concept of the latest home page and as it was in the delta mode but now sap is forcing from the production release of 20 uh, may 2022 that every customer they switch they should switch to the latest home page if in case that sap is going to upgrade automatically so nowadays sap is telling you from this release we are automatically upgrading all the customers to the latest home page experience so we upgrade your preview system first and it allows you for the final testing then we upgrade you to the production system three weeks later three weeks later after the upgrade the legacy home page from that period is no longer switch back to that it's not possible for you so what sap strongly encourages every customer to adopt the latest home page experience as for a timeline before the automatic upgrade takes place so all the technical details i have posted here about this uh, also the version 1h 2022 the which is going to be effective as i told you know three weeks later so this is going to be automatic update will takes place on 24th of june 2022 but first preview release takes place and then subsequently as for the three weeks later this update takes place now one more thing that i wanted to explain the la uh, the third one and as you all know that role based permissions as a security administrator you can manage you can create groups roles and target population and etc now sap is bringing the newest version of a role based permissions from admin center you can switch on to that so as you all know that when you click on uh, admin center then you, when you go to the manage permission roles and you start creating the roles right but now you will find one more button and where it tells you that switch to the latest rbp permissions so in addition to the existing one the latest rbp it is just like you can say look and feel the latest version of the rbp gives you a new concept of role assignment the relationship between the access to the users and the target population within the role but actually it is also the same thing which we used to do in the previous version but now the look and feel is going to be completely different like it is you can see at one glance this is the due to some uh, uh, privacy i have not showed you uh, full screen but i can see the preview of the some image about the latest role based permission so please be aware about it and i'm sure that all of you have uh, gone through my classes for rbp and you understood but it is same concept but now you are going to switch to the latest version and you are going to experience the look and feel better than the previous release and this is going to be available from uh, 20th of uh, may 2022 now one more update that everyone should remember you know when you are working maybe let us say when you work in time off when you work in a timesheet or a position management or any other custom objects when you work in mdf there is a something called to do category that you always try to select the category subsequent uh, connection of the particular solution that you are working so you are able to select but now now from the this h1 2022 you can no longer change the values through the to do category it is a grayed out and this is going to be like this previously you are able to select from the drop down but this to do category you can select no longer possible it is there but as for uh, you know 
SAP has given a, a pre-delivered, you know, for example, if it is a employee time. So it will, there is a to-do category selected by default and you don't need to do any changes. But let us say there is employee time object. For employee time object, you are going to select a to-do category like a time of request. So now it is a pre-delivered one. So you don't need to do anything there. It is a grayed out. Even for any of the custom MDF objects that you are going to create, SAP automatically selects as a generic object changes. And remember, you can select no values from the drop down, which you are able to select as for the earlier versions. From this release, it is not possible. So, SAP made this enhancement to unify the workflow experience for all the MDF based generic objects. And I am sure that these uh, enhancements give you a lot of understanding. And remember about the technical details about this update. Please refer to it and please enhance your understanding. Now, one more update that I wanted to explain is about role based permissions for your manage organization pay and job structures. Now, what SAP has done from this release. SAP wanted to control the user access for creating your foundation objects for all your foundation. Let us say, uh, let us say we have a three structures: no? org structure, pay structure, job structure. Some of these uh, foundation objects, as you all know, that it, they are all migrated to the MDF. They are all called as MDF foundation object. But of course, when you switch on to that, that will navigate to some other navigation. But when it comes to the manage organization pay and job structures, so you need to enable RBP from this release onwards. If it is not enabled, you can configure no foundation objects, not possible. So now SAP recommends you checking that user access permission should be given accordingly. So in the current version from the 20th of 5th, 2022 H1 release, you need to go and enable it to configure the objects, the data for manage organization pay on job structures. Otherwise, not possible to configure. Now, let us try to understand one more thing that everyone should remember. Uh, another enhancement that I posted is about search for workflows with the inactive users to manage workflow request. In admin center, you can manage the workflow request like you can lock it, you can unlock it, you can decline it, you can cancel it, you can delegate to somebody. There are a lot of things you can do, but in the requested by option, when you search earlier, you could only see the employees who are active, uh, you know, with the status, with all the workflow requests, but now, the workflow request, the employees who are inactive also, you can check it. So you can manage them. You can see there is an employee with inactive status. Look at here the screenshot. And if there is anything that uh, the workflow requests are there and you can uh, manage promptly as for your need and then accordingly, you can utilize this one. That means you can specify inactive employee central users and uh, all the workflow requests to them and you can manage them directly from admin center for manage workflow request page. And these are all some of the technical details. And I'm sure a lot of things I have explained with a detailed, uh, uh, you know, practical uh, examples. And I'm sure this release that whatever I have explained about the success factors employee central H1 2022, all those who are watching it. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching. See you all again next time. Bye everyone.